their excuse is give someone that's not deserving a, a roster spot on Team USA because she has a huge following. You get what I'm saying? That's that that's an extension of Lynn Sanity. That's exactly what Lynn Sanity is. Imagine if when Lynn Sanity was going on, you see you seen how big Lynn Sanity was. Lynn Sanity was huge. Jeremy Lynn was having great games, all this stuff. It lasted for about eight games, right? And then everybody found out he didn't have no left hand. Then they found out he couldn't dribble against pressure and they started locking him up 94 feet. And he went, dropped right back down to earth. Lynn Sanity was over. Imagine if someone that was supposed to make All-Star, they came in and was like, hey, we got to put Lynn Sanity on that All-Star team because he's popular. Or imagine if if when when teams was locking him up and turn, making him turn the ball over and making him have bad games after it, you know, toward the end of Lynn Sanity. Imagine if 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 the media was saying, Y'all are jealous of German Lynn. Why don't y'all stop fouling him and stop playing him tough defense? Y'all jealous and and uh uh Lynn Sedney is bringing more eyes to the uh to the to the game. Why don't y'all just let that happen? That's what they're saying about Caitlin Clark. They're basically saying the Lynn Sanity that she had in college. Y'all are not letting us see it, and y'all are jealous about it. Y'all jealous because, uh, and that's you know we're we're calling it jealousy because we can't see what she did in college. Man, let's move to Caitlin Clark. Man, uh, Caitlin Clark got left off of Team USA, uh, and the tears. Oh my God, the tears! Like these, these, these are the tears uh, of the Caitlin Clark's fan. I, 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 I got a whole cup of it, and uh, they're delicious. Wait one. Mm. Don't even need no chaser. They salty, very salty tears, um, and they're mad because she's not on Team USA, right? Let's listen to them have this conversation about it. Was it disrespectful to leave Caitlin Clark off the Olympic roster? No, I don't think it was disrespectful to leave Caitlin Clark off the Olympic roster. She is not one of the twelve best professional basketball players in the United States of America right now. The goal of the U.S. women's basketball team is to win a gold medal, is to win. That is their goal. That is the goal of the people that put this team together. That is the goal of the team heading to Paris. And that should be their only goal. Ratings is somebody else's problem. And that is not the priority, nor should it be even considered when you're talking about putting together a roster that is going to compete at the highest level at the biggest stage in the world, which is the Olympics. Remember how salty we got when the men weren't winning the gold. That was a problem. We're not, we're not getting involved in this. This is the best team in the world. It is a very hard team to make. They take a lot of considerations for who makes this team, not just who the best players are, but how they're going to play together. Because they aren't just assembling an all-star group. They're putting together a team of players that have to play together. Caitlin is going to have an incredible career. She will have an opportunity to go to the Olympics. She will have an opportunity to develop as a player. I think she is going to be one of the greatest players that the game has ever seen. I've enjoyed watching her start in the WNBA. But all of those factors, the, the ratings, the popularity, people paying attention to it, growing the game, that's not the responsibility of the U.S. women's national team. That is not their goal and responsibility. So I don't think it's disrespectful to her. I think it was, I'm sure, greatly debated and evaluated with a lot of care because they knew there was going to be a lot of discussion about this. But when it comes to the actual competition, you cannot simultaneously say that you care as much about ratings as you do about winning unless those things completely align. And in this case, they don't. So you have to prioritize what your goal is, which is winning. All right. So that's Joy Taylor on Speak. After Joy Taylor, you're going to hear LaShawn McCoy, uh, and he's he's a stand for uh, uh, Caitlin Clark. He's been a stand for since last year, right? I, I think some of these people are stands just from a business perspective, right? Like, you know, this is good for business for me to be a, a Caitlin Clark stand, just like people was a LeBron stand because it was good for business. Like, you know, I think that's what it is because they can't believe some of the stuff they say. So let's listen to, think about what Georgia said, right? She said that it's not disrespectful that they left off for the points that she made one, she's not the 12 or uh, she's not better than the 12 girls that they, or the 12 women that they selected. And if we're talking about winning the gold, winning the gold medal, these girls are definitely better than her. And we forget the big girls, forget Breonna Stewart, forget uh, a, uh, Aja Wilson, Brittany Griner, 
Forget those. Forget even forget down in Tarasi as a forward. Let's just think about the guards. Chelsea Gray, Jewel Lord, Kelsey Plum, Sabrina Inescu, Khalil Copper, Jackie Young. They're better than Caitlin Clark. They're more experienced than Caitlin Clark. They have veteran leadership, right? Uh, they can handle the physical play better, right? They're navigating the WNBA right now better. You know, granted, Caitlin Clark is still a rookie, but, you know, she she eight turnovers, six turnovers, seven turnovers, nine turnovers. She just lost by 20 points tonight to the uh, Connecticut Sun. Carrington, who's not on this list, outplayed her mightily. She had 20 plus points, three plus steals, assists out the UN. She ripping her at half court, getting layups. I mean, it was it was pretty much the same thing that happened because that's the team they played in game one. And Carrington embarrassing her by uh, uh forcing her to her right the whole game and stealing the ball from her every five minutes. And and it, it was, I mean, she set the tone for the rest of the league. Carrington did. Even Carrington's out playing her, and she's not a person that's even was even invited to this uh to even try out for this team. Carrington looked like, man, she looks, I mean, she, I, I, man, that girl defense and the way she scores, her quickness, her size. Like when you, when you think about what Gino uh, Arama said, and he said, man, she's just not built for this league. She can get there, but she's not built for it. And she's not even quick enough to get away from the physicality. So you're not physical enough for the league and you're not even quick enough to beat the physicality with your quickness. So you, so it looks like she's getting beat up and bullied. But it is it's not. She just can't handle it. What would be the point of taking her to the Olympics if she's not better than these girls? These girls are well deserving of it, right? I would I would hate I would hate I literally I would not like it if I was deserving of something and I get it got taken away for some I don't know whatever you want to call it, some charity uh, case. I, I I don't even know what you call it, right? And, and how many accommodation, accommodations are we going to do? They're asking them, like Gilbert Arenas have said, uh, if they want to make money, they need to change the rules and change the entire league for her. That's one accommodation. They said that uh, uh, they need to uh, change the play style for her. They want to change Team USA and put her on it. All because she has a large following from college. Like what she did in college earned her her large following. And her, her large following expected and, and thought that she was going to do what she did in college in the league as soon as she got in the league. They really thought that she was going to come in and be one of the top three players in the league. And now that they see that she can't do that, they're trying to figure out what went wrong because it's not her. She's perfect. She's infallible. She's the Messiah. She's the savior of the league. So if she can't do what she did in college in the league, it's got to be something wrong with the league. And that's when they start blaming her coaches. Game one, they blame her coach and said the offense was trash. Game two, they uh, they blame her teammates and said uh, uh, they're jealous of her. Game three, they start saying the whole league jealous of her. Like it, it's everything around her is the problem. We got to change everything around her so we can see what she did in college, right? So it's too many accommodations that we got to make. What's going to happen when she don't make All-Star this year? Are they going to say it's dumb for you not to put her on an all-star team because she's got a huge following and, and that can help grow the game? Like their, their excuse is give someone that's not deserving a, a roster spot on Team USA because she has a huge following. You get what I'm saying? That's that that's an extension of Lynn Sanity. That's exactly what Lynn Sanity is. Imagine if when Lynn Sanity was going on, you see you seen how big Lynn Sanity was. Lynn Sanity was huge. Jeremy Lin was having great games, all this stuff. It lasted for about eight games, right? And then everybody found out he didn't have no left hand. Then they found out he couldn't dribble against pressure, and they started locking him up 94 feet, and he went, <sighs> dropped right back down to earth. Lynn Sanity was over. Imagine if someone that was supposed to make All-Star, they came in and was like, hey, we got to put Lynn Sanity on that All-Star team because he's popular. Or imagine if if when when teams was locking him up and turn, making him turn the ball over and making him have bad games at, the, at you know toward the end of Lynn said and imagine if 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 the media was saying y'all are jealous of Jeremy Lynn why don't y'all stop fouling him and stop playing him tough defense y'all jealous and 
and uh, uh, Les Sedany is bringing more eyes to the uh, to the to the game. Why don't y'all just let that happen? That's what they're saying about Caitlin Clark. They're basically saying the Lynn Sanity that she had in college, y'all are not letting us see it, and y'all are jealous by that. Y'all jealous because, uh, and that's you know we're we're calling it jealousy because we can't see what she did in college. You can't say that because everyone wanted Lynn Sanity. Everybody enjoyed Lynn Sanity until Lynn Sanity was over. If the media had called for us to be, you know, just to stop the jealousy and stop playing physical defense just so we can keep seeing Lance Sanity the rest of the season. And then, oh, by the way, he also should be on the all-star team. And then, oh, by the way, he give him a roster spot on Team USA. That's basically what they're doing with Caitlin. That's basically what they're doing. So when if she don't make all-star this year, if she doesn't make all-star this year, the same thing that they're saying about Team USA, they're going to be saying, why don't we – Give her a roster spot on team on, on on the All Star game because everyone wants to see her. That's exactly what it is, right? Let's hear Lashawn McCoy. I um, <clears throat> I totally disagree. Totally disagree. I think it's one of the dumbest moves that the WNBA has ever done. Right now, you talked about the twelve best players. She is not one of those. I will say that Kaylin Clark is not one of those for sure. Right now, mm -hmm. but when you look at this, the Olympic team, the twelve best women go over and play in the Olympics, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they're, if I'm not mistaken, they are, they won seven in a row. Yeah, seven gold medals in yeah. a row. Seven gold medals in a row. So winning ain't really that. No. Y'all ain't talking about the winning part. Y'all gonna do that. But when you talk about growing this game, right? Angel Reese said that it's, it's two of them that's grown, grew the game, but I, I would say really, Caitlin has really grew the game. So if you look at the NBA, you look at the NFL, one thing they want to do is they market. They want to make more money. How do you do that, right? You make the game a little safer so players are always playing, right? And another thing is you, you, you go out to different countries to get this going, right? Same thing with the Dream Team back in the day, right? It was Michael Jordan. He was a big name and all that, and he started developing the, the whole game. Stop. So I hate when they keep bringing up Michael Jordan. Here's the difference. Michael Jordan was the best player in the league. Michael Jordan was also popular. Caitlin Clark is only popular. So stop bringing up Michael Jordan in this example. Michael Jordan was the best player in the league. And when he got on the floor, you saw Michael Jordan shit. They're begging for Caitlin Clark. And, and, and it's people that saying they're going to boycott Team USA. How does that make me feel as one of the players that's on this roster where you're telling me if y'all don't put Caitlin on here, I'm not even watching y'all. I'm not even going to support y'all. Pretty much give me what I want with Caitlin or I'm not supporting the WNBA or Team USA. How fair is that to all these uh, women that work so hard and who's going over there to go represent us and win the gold for us? All because your favorite player is not on there and she doesn't deserve to be on there and everyone admits that she don't deserve to be on there. So they're admitting, put an undeserving player, take the opportunity away from a deserving player because of popularity. And then what happens when you put her on that team and take her out there and she's not better than nobody? How is she going to get playing time? Or you're going to have to also, a deserving player would not get this opportunity, so she stays home. And then when you get there, a deserving player that's supposed to be getting minutes is not going to get it because we've got to give it to her. So you go dick two players. All for popularity and growing the game. Hot. And then if you do the right thing and have her on that roster and she's not playing, like Christian Leitner wasn't playing when he was on the roster because he didn't, he didn't really deserve to be on that roster, right? Then what? How does that grow the game when she's on the bench? And then if you play her, how does that grow the game when she get out there and, and turn the ball over eight times? Like, people not even thinking this through, uh, thing through. And then you bring up Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, when he got to the Olympics, we seen Michael Jordan shit. We seen him dominating. We seen him dunking left and right. We seen him faster than everybody. We seen him overmatching everybody. We, he was obviously the best player on the floor. You're telling me we want to put someone that we know is not be the best player on the floor, but we want to put out there because she has a following here in America. And we want to see if we can go get that following overseas. How are they going to how are you going to have a, 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 a Olympic game and, and, and gain a following just for Caitlin Clark? If Caitlin Clark is not on the floor hooping, if she's not on the floor doing Jordan stuff, how are the kids in China or where well, they're going to Paris? So how are the kids in Paris, how are they going to say, oh, my God? Caitlin Clark. No, you want it to be a straight hype job. In a certain way across the country. So you look at Caitlin, it's like, yo, this is the biggest player we have in basketball ever. 
We're not saying the best, but the biggest. Yeah. So now when people are tuning in to watch these games, it's not just me talking, it's all the numbers from, from going from 4,000 people going to 17,000 yeah. average the attendance. Yeah. Talking about the, the viewership. They average like 2 million viewers every time they play. So now you take the biggest draw of WNBA basketball players, you take her away to a place of who? For who? Why? So now people that was watching before, are they going to watch again? People in other countries, they know who she is. Are they going to watch her now? When they go to the games, they want to order that. How they go watch her if she's not on the floor? If she don't deserve to be on the roster, how she go get on the floor? Okay, you put on the roster, you take her to Paris. How you put on the floor? And then when you put do put it on the floor and she go out there and stink it up, then what? Is that going to grow the game? If they want to see the women play, who are they going to see? That's a serious thing. So now when I look at the, the commission, I look at the, 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 the group that put us together, it's like, yo, y'all dropping the ball. This is stupid. Y'all going to lose money. The max you can make in a, in a uh, woman's contract is what? 20, 250 a year. Is that what it is? 250? Believe on the court, yep. Come on, man. Listen, if you want to grow the game out and make the game bigger, not just for Caitlin, but for the whole league for years to come, you put this girl on the roster, right? You, you market it a certain way. You take her to other countries and let them see her, right? And now the money drives up and everybody can make more money. This is dumb for them. It's, it, it sounds good, but that's dumb. It sounds good. She's barely handling the WNBA. She's barely handling the WNBA. How's she going, how's she going to the Olympic? What does she go show us? How do you showcase that? Like, what did she go show us? These girls play better basketball than Caitlin. So if the if 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 they can't watch Team USA and see great basketball and grow the game that way, I'm trying to figure out what is Caitlin going to do that's going to grow the game when she go over there. Sign autographs. I like somebody has got to explain this to me because I I can't I can't understand it. I really I really don't understand it. Um. So yeah, uh, I'm glad you disagree. Uh, you don't know uh, that go happen. All we saying is, if uh, Caitlin Clark is going to be on Team USA in the future, it would be added experience for her and for the whole uh, WNBA league. I agree. I agree that it would be it, be, it would be wise because uh, more than likely four years from now, when they when they had the Olympics in 2028, Caitlin's going to be on it, and it would be nice for for Caitlin to go experience it this year, uh, but. That's that's if you don't have to uh, move heaven and earth for it to happen. If if there's just a rock, because right now Caitlin Clark is an alternate, and they got uh, uh, Chelsea Gray who's injured right now. She got a lower leg injury right now. She hasn't played not one game for the uh, Aces this year. Um, the doctors are saying she'll be available um, uh, by the time they start playing games for the Olympics. But she's not available right now. But let's say by slight chance she's not available. Then Caitlin Clark will be on the roster. And in that case, cool. I think it's a good thing that she go over there and get the experience. Uh, even if she don't play a lot, she go get the experience because she would more than likely be in there in 2028. So I agree with you on that, Ed Wow. Uh, it'd be a good experience for her. But I do not agree that you uh, give her the roster spot just for popularity even though she didn't earn it uh, with her play. You can't give it to her just for pop popularity. It just, it, it's just not, it don't make sense. I'm I'm not doing that just for popularity, right? I, I'm just not doing it. And, and all this, they're not, they're not really concerned with growing the sport uh, and all that stuff. They really are just concerned that they think that Caitlin Clark is not getting the treatment that they want her to get. This just another uh, uh, way for them to cry about her not getting that. Wait, it hap it'll happen again if she don't make all-star. And it happened again if they do the uh, co-ed three-point shooting with uh, uh, Sabrina Inescu and Steph Curry again like they did last All-Star and they don't invite Caitlin to it, right? And, and ma imagine Inescu uh, very, getting very close to Steph Curry in the three-point uh, shootout last year. Imagine her doing it again this year, but they don't invite Caitlin. What do you think Caitlin fans are going to say? How do, you, uh, how do you not invite the most popular girl to shoot against Steph Curry when Inescu's a better shooter? By far. Lexi Brown's a better, better shooter than uh, Caitlin Clark. By far. But y'all wouldn't know that because y'all not watching nobody's games. It's just all Caitlin, Caitlin, y'all. And no, notice every stat that they come out with, with as far as ticket sales, they say this is the most in 17 years or the most in 10 years, which means we've had it this popular before. This league has been this popular before. 
So you have to ask yourself, what happened? What happened? How did we go from being very popular to not being popular? And when you find out that NBC didn't have a contract with them no more and they 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 went and uh, joined the Lifetime Network and the Lifetime Network never advertised their games. They barely showed them. We didn't know where to find their games at. That's when the league tanked. So these numbers we're seeing with Caitlin, we've seen before, but Caitlin fans don't know that. Even they don't even read all the way when they say this is the most we've had in 17 years. They forget the they, they, all they see is the most. They don't see in 17 years. You got to ask yourself, oh, why? Well, how was it this popular in seven, 17 years ago? And then you do some research, and then it, 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 it makes sense, right? So, um, let's open the phone lines up because I think this is a good conversation to have. Let's open the phone lines up, man. Does she deserve to be on this roster? Um, uh, should we put on the roster just for popularity? And if you put on the roster for popularity, then you, do you have to play her just for popularity? Right. And then what do you think about my Lynn Sanity? Hey, is this, is this, hey, so is this an extension of Lynn Sanity? It's, 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 man, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, uh, this is an extension of Lynn Sanity. Imagine if Darren Williams got kicked off the all-star team because Lynn Sanity, Jeremy Lynn had a run of eight games where he was absolutely the best player on the court. Eight games. Mm. Let's get Darren Williams out of here. Let's get Chris Paul out of here. Let's get those elite guards out of here just because Jeremy Lynn had a run of eight games. And the crazy part is, Caitlin ain't had no run. <laughs> she hasn't had a run of anything. She has just been, not since she's been in the league, um, there's no way possible that you could ever make me say that this is disrespect to Caitlin Clark if Arike Ogubawale is not there, if Correct. Ryan Howard's not there. Like, it's so many players that are just so much better. So much better at, at, at basketball that are not on, on, on this team. I think you said Carrington has been hooping this year. Um, Bonner deserved to be on there. Every guard deserved to be on there that was on there. And there were some guards that I thought got left off. And Caitlin is not one of them. You cannot reward anybody just because you want to award them. Like, if that's the case, let's give her the MVP this year, even though her stats don't reflect it. Let's 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 automatically give Indiana Fever the win so she can win the championship if it's all about business. Because that'll grow uh, the game, Taco, right? That'll grow the game. Taco Master said it the best, I think, in the comments. He said, Stephen A. said, it's not compromising your morals, it's just good business. But the problem with that is you are compromising your morals for good business or what you would call good business. And you have to have morals in order to, to say, hey, all money ain't good money. Like, you're going to take somebody's rightful spot just to get this girl on there who has not been playing. Do I think Caitlin Clark is, is a hooper? Yes, I think Caitlin Clark is a hooper. And I think eventually she'll learn the game and adapt to the game and adjust to the game and find her niche in the game and be a player. Because we've seen her working in the offseason. But don't just hand it to her. Like, how, how, have these, how have these dudes ever played competitive sports? I don't understand. I don't understand how these dudes have ever played competitive sports and they just want to hand something to somebody, uh, whether they earn it or not, in the in, in the name of good business. It's ridiculous. You, do you like the Jordan comparison that they keep using? <sighs> Mel, I'm trying to have a peaceful time in the comments, Brian. I'm just I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just chilling, bro. Like, why would they ever utter those names in the same sentence? I don't even like the Christian Leitner comparison. Christian Leitner won two rings. How many? How many? Uh, in, in college, how many? How many did Caitlin win? Zero. So I, I, I don't. I don't like any of the comparisons whatsoever. So at the end of the day, I am 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 infuriated with the fact that this is even a conversation. Like, why is this a conversation? I don't understand it, Mel. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. I ain't gonna take too much of your time. I'm gonna let everybody else call in. This is though, uh, world breakers. By the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> make sure y'all hit that like button uh comment subscribe share and, and, and stop talking about Caitlin. Hey, hey wait a minute before i go tell uncle ruckus to call back that's what i want oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah oh yeah 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 like yeah. tell him to call back yeah. i'm in the comments waiting if you if, if you want that smoke i'm down here yeah 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 come come give me the smoke since we're on the uh caitlin clark topic that this this would be real nice man call back uh, that'd be real dope. Yeah, thanks for the calls, though. All right, brother. Yep. 
Yeah, so uh yeah, that Jordan comparison is crazy. John Wayne, super chat, thank you. Uh you think she is getting bullied now? Put her on the Olympic team and watch what uh when she gets uh gets back. Um that's an interesting comment. Uh it it'll definitely rub a lot of people the wrong way. T Ray, what's up? Hey, what's up, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. How you feeling? Oh, I can't complain, man. Uh just want to jump on in that real quick with uh the, the Taylor Tice situation. All right, let's go. Um, it reminds me, it reminds me a lot. Like you, you hit the head on nail on the head uh, with insanity. But then you also think about how y'all mean when he came in the league, and how you know they kind of they kind of shifted votes and made it made it more of a a thing where uh the the, the Chinese could vote and get him all star bid. Yeah, and starting you know and stuff like that. Yeah. So they they'll probably do some things like that. But you know what? The thing about Yamin, Yamin was actually good. Yeah. And he kind of, he earned his, he earned his, uh, yeah, he did. his accolades. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So until this girl is actually able to produce, and I'm not saying she's never going to, but right now she's not. Um, it, it don't look good. The optics don't look good. So, you know, begging for her to get a position on the Olympics and all of this. Nah, this, this she needs to earn that. She need to earn everything you know, she get because they, they. I mean, everything can't be given to her. I mean, they. I mean, they asking for so many accommodations for her, man. They asking to change the rules. They try asking to change the play style yeah. of the league. They asking to change so much, man. Put on Team USA all because she got popular yeah. in college. She hasn't done nothing in the pros to warrant all the attention. She she done all this nothing. work in college. She did it in college. She's and, working and off and residual. That. That's called working off residual. Yeah. Yes. You know who else was popular in college? Uh, Bronny James, so they say. <laughs> so what is we just going to, we going <laughs> to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know who, I mean, a, 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 Adam Morrison was pretty popular in college too. Oh man, for that, for that. I mean, oh, Jimmy for that, yeah, yeah. Though. Wally yeah. Zerbiak, yeah. 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 Old man, Bannon listen, Brothers. Man, doing, the Old Bannon Brothers was cold. On, Oh, they was cold, and they had a following. They had a, you know, if they had social media back then, we'd be that'd be an issue. Uh, Lonzo Ball, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could go on and on about who was popular and whatnot, but when it don't translate on that court, you got a problem when you're trying to supersede something because he, like she said, ball don't lie. Right. The ball is telling you that you know she's not ready. Now, will she be ready? She might be ready the next four years. She might get that. She go. She might earn that nine to the Olympics. But until then, don't don't put the horse before the carrot. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm with you, yeah. man. Thanks for the call, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, bro. No, no problem. Yep. All right, I got a couple of comments I want to get to. USA Women's won seven straight gold medals without Caitlin Clark. Y'all just casual at this point. Just because they won, don't mean we got to put her on the roster and take it and take that spot away from somebody. Like I, I don't understand how that's even relevant. Oh, they won, so just you know, let's. Let's put somebody that don't deserve it. Like we all uh, agree that she doesn't deserve to be on the roster. Like we all agree with that. Oh, that should be the end of the story. That's a period at the end of that sentence. We all agree she doesn't deserve it. Put a period right there. Conversation over. Right. We're not talking about no. Oh, it'll grow the league and all that. You don't know it'll grow the league. You don't know it'll grow the league. If she goes over there and don't play, how's it going to grow the league? If she goes over there and plays bad, how's it going to grow the league? And forget her going over there and playing good because how the hell she go get them minutes over the girls that's so much better than her? And it's obvious the girls that every time she plays a good team, she's at, she's getting eight points, nine points, ten points, and looking really bad and, and getting a lot of turnovers. She's not ready, man. Put that thing back in the oven. What we thought we was gonna get, the media lied to us, is we're not gonna get it. All right. So stop, you know, stop, stop doing this stuff, man. And it was the other comment I got from uh Joe Smith, they changed the game for MJ, y'all forgot. I got something for you, right? This is this is how the game was for MJ. All the way to the right, right? All the way to the right, you see the Jordan rules, right? You see what they was doing, way too much. In the middle is what it's supposed to be. That's, that's you uh, enforcing the rules by the rule book in the middle. All the way to the right is what you see with the Pistons and the and, and Detroit and Boston and, and Milwaukee and had all these teams played then fighting playing football on the court. That was what Jordan was doing. When they changed the rules, they just said let's enforce the rules the way it's supposed to be enforced it, and they went to the middle. 
That's what they changed. They changed it from football to real basketball. What they're asking us to do for Caitlin Clark is take it from real basketball all the way to the left where we can't touch her so she can run around freely and shoot threes. Stop comparing it to Michael Jordan. The rules that they was following when Michael Jordan came in the league were not the rule book rules. The WNBL following the rule book rules right now is just a physical brand. They want to take it all the way away from the rule book to hands off the merchandise. Stop. You got to stop comparing it to Michael Jordan. Carla, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm good, man. What's your thoughts? Man, I agree with everything you're saying, bro. The only, the only thing, I think Caitlin Clark made the all-star team. And the only reason why is because of LeBron making it. Every like he made it the past few years, like with first ballot captain and all that. And his players of head his players you could have put ahead of him during that time. You could put KD ahead of him, you could put Jarvin Rant when he was healthy, you could have put Jokic in as captain. But he always a leading go getter and a captain. So if it's up to the people, I think they'll put Caden Clark in there just for that reason. Yeah, and and look, and that's fine because Aaliyah Boston, her teammate, as a rookie last year, made all star. Remember, it's only twelve teams. All right, it's only 12 teams. So if 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 you got six on each side, east and west, you know, I'm pretty sure that's how they got it. If they got six teams on each side, but you need 12 players to make a, a, a roster, that means every team can get two 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 all-stars. Right. Right. So it's more than likely she's gonna make all-star. She she's gonna make all-star, but I'm saying by any chance that she don't, they're gonna cry bloody hell again. They're gonna cry like this, right? And the crazy thing yep. about it is she probably still would get picked to be an uh, Olympic uh, player because I don't think Chelsea Gray is going to come back in time. She's still hurt. I think I think they're going to call up Caitlin Clark at some point. Uh, but, you know... Uh, yeah, as, far as, the, as far as the USA team? Yeah, I think she'll make the USA team because Chelsea Gray is hurt. And and the first... The, it's two alternates uh, that's, uh, that's available and it's Caitlin Clark and a center. Right. So obviously, if a guard can't play like Chelsea Gray, then they're going to call up Caitlin Clark for it. So she'll probably be in the Olympics, which is great. Well, that's why. I, yeah. But even even though that, I was like, I think one of the callers here, too. I put, I put the one, I put the one of Bonner here to her. I would love the one of man. She's, she's old. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if she want to do it, but the one of can hoop, man. She yeah. can hoop for sure. They ain't being bad. She went to high school together. So yeah. <laughs> oh, for real? Where's she from? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fair for you. Okay. In Alabama. Okay. We was right there by Birmingham. All right. I like I like Bonner, man. I, I know she killed y'all school. Uh, uh, I, th- I know she got all the records out that down there. Yeah, pretty much. But they but they, their basketball program there was like they've been they've been on point ever since. Like even before her, like their girls always won the state championship. She, she just fell in place with it. Mm. So so they, yeah, they've been, they been on one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, I got one more crazy tape, man. Yeah. As far as we did, man, it wouldn't surprise me. They put Bernie on their own all star ballot just so you play with his dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. And they don't have to speak him in the <laughs> uh, yeah, man. That's funny, man. Thanks, man. All right, bro. Yep. Uh Cash said, uh Caitlin Clark don't deserve to be on the team, but Donna Tarasi also don't deserve to be on uh to play on the Olympic team. Uh neither does Brittany Griner. Well, uh Caitlin Clark is a rookie Donna Tarasi is a vet and you need a vet. Like that that's that's why LeBron and Wade and uh Bosch and CP3 and Carmelo, that's why they went over there and got the bronze. And then what happened when they had Kobe show up? That's all they needed. They need they need a vet. That Diana Tarasi is the the vet of all vets. She's the she's the she's the, she's pretty much the face of the league, but she's on her way out. Everybody listens to DT. If you listen to how they talk about DT, any player in the league right now, and they mentioned Darna Tarasi's name, listen to how they uh, talk about her with much respect. And then even when she say stuff, when she's being harsh, like when she said uh, she'll take Paige Buker number one if she was coming out the draft over Caitlin Clark, and when she said reality is coming, when they asked every female player that played in the WNBA, they said that's just DT, that's how she is. She 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 go say what's what's on her mind. She go and she and she go be unapologetic. That's how she is. You just gotta learn DT. Everybody knows her. You need a vet like that. There's no way I'm going all over to go try to win gold with no vet, with no leader. 
nobody that everyone re uh, respects and listens to who can also ball. There's no way. You're 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 telling me you would rather take a rookie for popularity. How popular was LeBron when he went over there and got that bronze medal? Tell me that when LeBron went over there and got bronze, how popular was he in the world? He went over there and got embarrassed. I'm pretty sure that grew the game a whole lot. Yeah, it 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 showed all the other countries that the the American team ain't all that no more. We can beat them. They lost to Carlos Oro. Unstoppable. And why? Because they couldn't handle the physicality of feeble basketball. And that's exactly what Caitlin Clark can't do. She can't handle the physicality. Don't give me that, man. I know y'all like this girl, but come on. We got to be real with this. How you say Donna Taurasi don't deserve it, or she don't deserve to be there? She's a vet. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I mean, that's, I mean, there's no way that's a serious comment. I mean, there's, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, but DT has an attitude that Barkley had in 92. She's bad for optics in the Olympics. Dude, she went to the Olympics five times. How's she bad for optics? I've been there five times. Cass, come on, man. All, all, all because you like this one girl. This this is looking real LeBronish, man. Like the disrespect gotta stop for one for one girl that don't deserve it. We just gonna start disrespecting people. Diana Tarasi don't deserve it, and she bad for optics. Oh, geez, Louise. Bro, this is crazy, man. All right, man. One more phone call. I'll take one more phone call, then we get the the last topic, which is still on Caitlin Clark. Still on Caitlin Clark. I like that roster boy. Aja Wilson, the best player in the league. Brianna Stewart, the, the current MVP. Kelsey Plum, a hooper of all hooper, probably the best guard on the team. Sabrina Inescu, the best shooter in the league. Brittany Griner, 6 7, unstoppable force in the paint. Jewel Lord, the Kobe of the league, unstoppable. Donna Tarasi, another Kobe of the league and a vet, right? Nefessa Collier, automatic score. Alyssa Thompson, a triple-double threat. Big four, point forward. Jackie Young, straight score. Khalil Hooper, uh, Khalil Copper, straight score. And Chelsea Gray, just another jewel lord. There's no room for Caitlin Clark on this squad. There's no room. There's no room. 